I have when you fun. were growing up, <laughs> mm -hmm. being now being biracial is all the oh, rage or multiracial. Yeah. At the time, it was a stigma, even though the foundation of our country is miscegenation, but unacknowledged. Yeah, yeah. it was very difficult for it you, and you were taunted. Too. You were told mm -hmm. you're not black, yeah. you're not white, yeah. you're nothing. You're How nothing. did your mother help you process your sense well, of identity? You know, the thing about escaping into a world of art is that you come through the world where people actually do love each other because of who you are. Mm -hmm. When you're in a, brought up in a world of art, you don't really see that color barrier unless you're in a business world. Mm -hmm. And so then with my mother, because of that, I felt safe. But the minute I got out of that art world and went into the streets and people would throw rocks at me and say, what are you? Are you a giraffe or what are you? You're nothing. You're just a horrible thing on the earth, pooey to you, <laughs> kind of, you know, uh, not a nice feeling. And then you don't know what you are. Where were you when I was a child? I should, <laughs> I should have known you. <laughs> but what? anyway, you just sort of try to blend in and you don't really fit. But then sometimes people with big hearts accept you into their tribe and you feel at home and, you know, you're loved somehow, somewhere. What did your mother tell you, though, about how... Well, she to told me that it was world. very difficult for she and my father to be together. It was so mo it was not permitted that a man from Sweden and a young lady from Georgia of color could be together and walk in the streets hand in hand. Mm -hmm. It was a it was a, a, against the law actually. It was, I'm against the law. Well, until <laughs> it's like what I came out as is not you're not allowed. And it was a horrible thing, you know, and I recognized it the most, you know, when I went on that Ebony Fashion Fair tour, and we were black girls in a bus with a load of sh beautiful chiffon and silks and beaded dresses couture. And we were down in the deep south, and it was just something that, you know, I knew about because my mom went on the march, you know, with Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. and. I wasn't allowed to go because it was very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And but while we were down there, some girls got shot in a church, and we were on the road, and you know it was just scary.